deep in conversation, Stephen Kernahan and Brett Ratton catching up following training today as we head towards game day after what's been a tumultuous week. Hello everyone, I'm Matt Thompson with you here on AFL.com.au. Now that conversation came after training and after Sticks appeared on television last night saying that Ratton would definitely coach out the season, clearing up what he had said on radio earlier in the week. But by the same token, we've heard from another former great at the Blues, David Reese jones who says Ratton's stature as a hero and great of the football club should make no difference on whether or not the Blues board ultimately decides to sack him. Oh, I don't think so. I, look, uh, I was there when Robert Walls was sacked and uh, look, he, he's a great servant of the club and, and he was a, you know, a, a premiership coach only a couple of years before. So I've seen it firsthand. Um, these things happen and it's all part of football. But uh, look, Brett, he's a terrific bloke. He's a great footballer for Carlton. But, um, uh, you know, it's, it's a completely different circumstance he's in. I don't see any sense in, in having a caretaker coach unless you're going to continue on with that person. Um, you know, let him see out the year. I mean, and, and that's how we're judged on, on where we finish at the end of the year and that's how I think Brett will be judged. While Rats and Sticks chatted away, it was assistant coach Alan Richardson, who is known to have senior coaching ambitions himself, who fronted the cameras. I hope I offer suggestions and support. Um, and uh, without sounding like a broken record, my suggestions are predominantly about how are we going to beat the Maggies this week? That's our immediate challenge and that's been our focus. Michael Jamison is expected to play in the blockbuster against Collingwood despite his shoulder scare last week. Mark Murphy hopefully only a week away. The vibe at training far from bleak despite the Blues' woes and pressure on the coach. When things aren't going well, you tend to go the other way. You try and pick up the mood and so... Um, it's been really positive. It's been really, uh, it's been really honest. It's been really challenging, but it's been a, a really positive. Here's what we're going to do about whatever the issue is. Across town, bad news for the Magpies. Scott Pendlebury won't be back for Friday night's clash. He had some um, extra work, uh, extra investigative work done this morning, um, and the docs just decided to give him one more week. So uh, we've taken the precautionary approach with Scott, and he'll train and um, over the weekend and make sure he's right to go next weekend. He's, he's a little bit disappointed. He wanted to play. He's been training hard for a couple of weeks, but uh, at the end of the day, the doc has the final say on that and we support him fully with that decision. Chris Tarrant and Alan Didak won't return either, likely to play in the VFL. The fallout from Daniel Connor's axing and Dustin Martin's suspension, the obvious talking point at Richmond, the coach initially left to wonder. Oh, look, it was one of, first of all, where are they, obviously, and then it was just, when we found out the situation, it was just disappointment. You know, we've worked very, very hard with Dan and... You know, Dan, by his own admission, knew that he was walking a very fine line and that was probably the final straw. And, you know, from Dusty's from a point of view, we you know, take prescription medicine that isn't yours and to, to drink alcohol is a, is a no-no, not only in, from an AFL perspective, but society in general. So, you know, it's a lesson learnt by both those boys and it's uh, been a really hard lesson. Martin didn't train with his teammates this morning. Banished, he went for a pre-dawn run. Yeah, he'll have a, you know, pretty, you know, mini pre-season, so to speak, and he'll probably join the group group next week. And so he'll he can't join them now. So it's just no, a, not not at the moment. It's just a we'll just give him some time and space, get his head right, and you know let the the scab heal, so to speak, and then we'll move on. And now the Tigers are left depleted as they take on Melbourne. No Martin, Vickery, King, Grimes, Jackson, and Connor's gone too, never to return. Oh, listen, they'd probably be up to anywhere between six force changes, so it's not something that's ideal. But we're pretty. Pretty happy with the way our system's working at the moment. The great thing about it, these guys have been playing it for probably you know two to three years now. So we've got some players that'll just slot straight in there. And the great thing about it is those guys are going to come in really hungry. In Sydney, Adam Good says he was naive when he returned in round 13, admitting he's still not back to his best after a lengthy layoff with a quad tear. Yeah, look, I always thought I'd be back in six weeks, and um, you know, did all the right things to get myself back. But uh, you know, I was a little bit naive, I think, to think I could come back and you know play to the standard that I thought oh, definitely I want to get to. Um, so it has been a little bit frustrating from that point of view, but you know, I'm just happy to be back playing footy. The Swans face Brisbane on Saturday. And from Geelong, one of the hard luck stories of the year. Daniel Menzel now in recovery from a second knee reconstruction. His attitude incredibly positive. He spoke exclusively with AFL.com.au's Adam McNichol. I got back in eight and a half months last time and I didn't have any swelling on my right knee at all which the physios have told me is very rare so um, I guess it means that we follow the same sort of rehab path that we took and, um, and hopefully then we shouldn't have too many issues with that so it will be pretty similar I think. 
Yeah, great spirit shown by Daniel Menzel there. Adam McNichol with that story. You can head over to the Cats website to see that interview in full. Of course, we'll be all over the team news tonight for you as that comes through. AFL.com.au is the place to come for footy news as it happens.